Well, here we are in Ivy, Virginia at the Wandering River Farm. I'm here with Gabe Engel, who's gonna teach us how he uses livestock to improve soil. Gabe, thanks for having us. Thanks for being here, Pat. So Gabe, you have a really unique experience that I wanna start off with. You actually got to apprentice directly under David Holmgren, who's the creator of permaculture. What was that experience like for you? Well, Pat, it was quite an experience. Um, David and his family are just incredible people and it was just so humbling to, to be there learning with them for a year and a half and um, just, just changed my whole life of how I view plant, soil, the human relationship to the earth and um, just kind of propelled me on, on this journey of working with the earth differently and, and trying to heal soil. Wonderful. Well, what did you take away from that experience and how are you implementing it here on your farm now? We're using permaculture principles of thinking and design to use multi-species grazing and the relationship between plants and animals to improve soil, to regenerate soil and take carbon from the atmosphere and, and put it back in the ground. So there's a lot of um, different thoughts about raising livestock, especially in our current environment globally. Um, is it possible to have livestock and, and it be a beneficial thing to your garden, to your soil, or is it a trade-off that needs to be made? Uh, it's absolutely possible. Um, nature doesn't function without animals. True. Um, and farming is just a reflection of nature, um, an amplification, and so it's, it's entirely possible to build soil with animals, to improve soil, and it's, it's perhaps actually the easiest, most functional way to do it on a large scale, and that's, that's why we're using the cows here to do what we're doing. Well, what do these cows actually do for the soil? How do you go from a uh, large livestock animal to better soil? So we are just trying to mimic nature, uh -huh. um, and especially mimic indigenous management of nature. So in the United States, there were large herds of, of buffalo roaming, sure. and they were always moving. And so we're, we're always trying to keep our animals moving. And it also keeps the cows out of their own manure. It lets the parasite cycle break, mm -hmm. and it ultimately grows much better grass for them. So we're, we're trying to regenerate to heal, and that, that actually results in increased increased capacity as well. Fantastic. So are you going to show us how you do that now? Yeah, I am. We're uh, okay. just going to, all it is is this little little <laughs> piece of wire here that's normally hot. It's turned off to move them. And okay. We're just uh, going to reel this up and they'll come right through. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, they look happy. Fresh grass. Fresh grass. So they get moved, moved daily uh -huh. and uh, keeps them really happy and healthy. And, and how does got... it actually regenerate the soil? So it, we know that they fertilize the soil through the manure, but what else do they do? So it's basically, um, for all the gardeners out there that do a green manure crop, it's basically uh -huh. like growing a new green manure crop every 30 to 60 days. Wow. So we're... You know, they haven't been here for about a month. Okay. And so this is all new growth, uh -huh. and they're just going to eat it all down and poop it all out. Uh -huh. And on top of all that biomass being digested through them, they all, the grass also takes carbon from the atmosphere, turns it into sugars, and pumps it into the soil, sequestering mm. carbon from the atmosphere into the soil and improving the soil a lot in the process. Well, uh, you use a few animals to prepare your land, and I understand we're going to go check out one of your gardens now. Sounds good. All right, let's go. Well, it looks like you've got your summer garden on its way here. How did you use your animals to create this plot? Well, Pat, we just uh, tried to do as much integration as we can. We had to feed the cows hay over the winter. Mm -hmm. um, and mostly we moved the cows around feeding hay, but we concentrated it a little bit here since the vegetables need so much nutrients mm -hmm. and fed out a bunch of round bales. All the waste, all the stuff they didn't eat, all the stuff uh -huh. they pooped went there. We let it sit for a while. Uh -huh. We brought the pigs through a little bit to help 
turn it up and help it compost better. And okay, then, as they forage. As they forage, let it sit a little more and till it in and then plant it. Great. Well, I see some really rich soil here. You can see that the pigs have kind of broken up the straw. I see the cows have fertilized it really nicely and then you've top dressed it with a little bit of extra topsoil for some more nutrients. So I bet it's going to grow beautifully. And I see another plot back there. Is that going to be a garden as well? No, that's actually, um, that's just part of the normal pasture management. That's the pigs have been through there uh -huh. much more briefly. They do a little disturbance, till it up a little, leave some grass, and then we actually throw out barley in all the bare spots okay. and let them trample it in. We put it in a day before they leave okay. and it sprouts and uh, they'll come back in a few months and harvest it. So they're growing their own food. Great, that's a fantastic idea and really in line with those permaculture principles of everything have multiple uses. Exactly, exactly, stacking functions. You also do some work with mushrooms and that has a regenerative effect on the land and the soil. How do they contribute to your integrated model? Yeah, the mushrooms are really great because they, they work with forest management, which is a whole nother part of the property that mm -hmm. gets limited, limited use, but there's an overlap where the, the pigs go in the forest as well in the fall, so there's integration there. What do the um, pigs do in the forest? They eat acorns, hickory nuts, beech nuts. They uh, root around, eat bugs, and, and uh, they thoroughly enjoy themselves. And so what about the, the mushrooms? What do they do for the forest? They decompose logs. Uh -huh. So they, they, um, we put the mycelium in the log and it, it grows and it, the, the mushroom is the fruit and we harvest it and eventually uh -huh. the log decomposes and crumbles mm -hmm. after three to five years of producing mushrooms. Sure. Is there any use for that log once it's just full of mycelium and no longer producing fruiting bodies? Yeah, well, it's, it's basically building, it's basically creating soil it's creating organic matter and you, you can either put that in a compost pile sure um, or you can actually feed the logs to the pigs and they will they really? will devour the log they'll eat the whole thing who knew so a pig treat is an old mushroom log yeah all right yeah well, Gabe, it's been a treat thank you so much for having us at your farm i love that you are using animals and plants in harmony and it's a really nice place out here so thanks for having us thanks so much for coming out